discover the dark world of the deep sea, where scary creatures wait to snack on humans. From the massive sea monster to the black swallower, these spooky creatures haunt sailors and divers. Let's explore the eerie stories of these hungry beasts lurking below. The Lizard Man. Deep in the dark parts of the South Carolina swamps among the twisted trees and moss, people talk about a scary creature. They say it's a big lizard-like thing with scary red eyes. It's a spooky story that has scared people for a long time. No one's really sure if it's true or not. But the story has stuck around for years, scaring anyone who gets too close to the swamp. The tale of the Lizard Man goes back to one night in 1988. A teenager named Christopher Davis was driving near the Skateboard Swamp when he saw something strange. He said it was a big creature with green scales and red eyes. It scared him so much he drove away as fast as he could. But the creature chased after him and even grabbed his car. Luckily, he got away, but the encounter left him shaken. After Davis's story got out, more people claimed they saw the Lizard Man, too. They described it as a tall, lizard-like creature with red eyes. Some said it had a long tail and sharp claws. These sightings mostly happened around the Skateboard Swamp, but some were reported in nearby areas, too. The local police even investigated some car damages that people said were caused by the Lizard Man, but they couldn't find any solid proof that the creature was real. Some people thought it might be a prank or animals causing the damage. The mystery remains unsolved, keeping the legend of the Lizard Man alive in the dark corners of South Carolina's folklore. The Black Swallower Despite its eerie name, this fish is fascinating for its dark color and its incredible ability to swallow prey much larger than itself, sometimes up to ten times its size and twice its length. While it may only grow to about ten inches long, this fish packs quite a punch for its size. The black swallower resides in the deep, dark depths of tropical and subtropical oceans, typically hanging out between 700 to 2700 meters down. These regions, known as the mesopelagic and bathypelagic zones, are pitch black, with little to no sunlight. They're commonly found near North America's shores like the Cayman Islands and Bermuda, and occasionally near South Africa. Finding these fish is tricky since they live so deep, and they're mostly seen when they're accidentally caught or wash up dead on beaches. Their diet mostly consists of other fish, but not just small ones. They go for big meals, sometimes too big. Eating something too large can cause their stomach to tear or lead to a slow demise as the prey decomposes inside them, causing their stomachs to bloat and float them to the surface. Breeding habits are a mystery due to the challenges of studying deep-sea creatures, but we know they lay tiny eggs that float in the open ocean. These eggs face many risks, but somehow some of them survive and grow into juveniles. The black swallower's ability to gulp down huge meals is an evolutionary advantage in the barren deep ocean where food is scarce. The Leviathan. Leviathan is a big, scary sea creature that was one of the first things God made. There were other powerful creatures too, but Leviathan was the scariest. The Leviathan is known to be an enormous sea monster that was one of Yahweh's, the Christian God, original creations. There were several other creatures of equal power that were created, but the Leviathan was known to be the most dangerous of them all. There are many different theories as to what inspired the tales of the Leviathan, but most are centered around the demonstrating the almighty power of Yahweh. In Christian theology, Leviathan is often associated with the devil and represents envy. It's described as a demon responsible for punishing the envious by swallowing them whole, leading to the idea that it may symbolize a place of damnation akin to hell. The Greek Old Testament and the Book of Revelation also mention Leviathan, often translated as dragon. In Revelation, a mighty battle between God and a seven-headed dragon symbolizes the conflict between good and evil, with Leviathan being one of the monsters summoned to aid the dragon. The Pensacola Sea Monster Back in 1962, five Florida teens embarked on a daring diving trip to explore a shipwreck. Only one, 
Brian McCleary returned. His account of the events, shared in Fate magazine in May 1965, tells a chilling tale of facing a sea monster and the struggles that followed. McCleary and his friends planned to use a life raft to reach the USS Massachusetts wreck, but bad weather made them rethink. They tried to paddle back to shore, but the rough sea pushed them around. As night fell, they hoped for help, but no one came. They spotted a buoy and tried to tie up, but it pulled them under, forcing them to swim for their lives. In the chaos, they lost some of their friends. Eventually, they saw the ship they'd aimed for, but a strange creature appeared. It seemed huge and made odd noises. McCleary led the group towards the wreck, but the creature kept following, scaring them even more. They lost more friends along the way. As dawn broke, McCleary found himself washed up on shore. Weak and alone, he was eventually rescued and taken to a hospital. Despite his terrifying story, not everyone believed him. Some reports of the incident left out the sea monster, and there were discrepancies in how far McCleary had traveled in the water. The Sea Serpents These enigmatic beings are believed to have remarkable characteristics, including enormous size, immense strength, and the capability to move quickly in the deep sea. Jörmungandr, also called the Midgard Serpent, is a legendary sea serpent from Norse mythology. Born as one of the offspring of the trickster god Loki, this serpent grows to immense proportions, with its massive snake-like body encircling the entire world. It's said to have multiple heads and tails, which are believed to cause ocean waves and are linked to cataclysmic events like earthquakes and floods. Given its significance in Norse lore, it's not surprising that many Vikings claim to have encountered similar sea serpents during their explorations of the North Atlantic. These creatures were thought to be powerful beings, often connected with storms and turbulent seas. Some sailors were said to have mistaken its back for a chain of islands, only to meet a tragic end. The Loch Ness Monster, a well-known legend of a sea serpent, is thought to dwell in the depths of Loch Ness in Scotland. This mythical sea creature, resembling a plesiosaur with its long neck and hump-like shape, has led to numerous sightings and expeditions in hopes of solving its mystery. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos, and we will see you in the next one.